Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. you enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile.
gotta go. <laughs> Come on. Come on! Here now. There you are. Go on. Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, ain't we, Bess? You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? You? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear shaped. Smart Alex got a sense of humor. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know. Be rough. Oh, that's disgusting. you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. I'll have no more of your cheek, boy. Say that again and I'll give you a face like a slopped ass. You're gonna feel my fist in the back of your throat. <laughs> E 
even house wives run out to sweep up donkey apples. They want wonders for the roses, you know? Donkey apples. Right, tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. I think I would keep it here. Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Keep Stark from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people of the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some ways in Australia that swear by that shooting star? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbours the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, it wasn't always welcome. But shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or Furman at Smithfield. But if we can avoid 